Yo, coming to you about something important. Um, the Michigan government shut down or stay at home, uh, stay safe, stay home act or, or whatever she's enacting at 12 o'clock <clears throat> will be going into effect. And my first thought, just like y'all, was are the liquor stores going to be closed? But somebody let me know right now. Do I need to go rob somebody? Let me know as the liquor stores closed or open. I need to know right now. Time is ticking. It is 11 something right now. I need to know. Where the weed at? I ain't smoked weed in 10 years, but I, uh, I need to know what's happening. If I can't get to the liquor, I might have to cheap something. I need to know. You got to let me know right now. What? We good? We good on that? All right. Um, you show. Now, cause I'm gonna rob you if you. If, I'm robbing you if you say I'm telling you. All right, I seen your liquor stash. It's kind of straight now. All right, but look, the government is shutting it down in Michigan. Not all the way down, but those of y'all you know who are able to laugh with me, don't freak out. And start buying up everything because I'm sick of going to the grocery store and not being able to find no toilet paper. Look, now, I go in one more grocery store and can't get some toilet paper. Somebody gonna get shot. That's all I'm saying. Huh? But Governor Whitmer is shutting down uh, non-essential businesses. Uh, some, some I looked up as far as some uh, businesses that will be open is healthcare, public health, law enforcement, public safety, first responders, um, food agriculture, which, as far as I know, includes liquor, um, water, wastewater, uh, energy, transportation logistics, public works, communication, and uh, information tech, news and media, uh, other community-based government operations, essential functions, um, critical manufacturing, Hazardous materials, financial service, uh, chemical supply chains, and safety, defense, and industrial base. Um, child care workers of workers that need to work uh, during this time and uh, people that are still working like that. Child care workers can, can provide them assistance to care for their children. So it's... Uh, Pretty much to me, what that said, it's locked down uh, like it should have already been these past this past week. You know, they, they told us a week ago they were locking down some stuff, bars and stuff like that for two weeks and this, that, and other. And I figured it would go past the two-week uh, time length that they said. So this doesn't surprise me. But just everybody don't freak out. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it cool. Y'all y'all apparently been buying up everything anyway. Cause I still ain't got no toilet paper over here. I'm wiping my booty with newspapers out of No, I don't got I got a couple sheets of toilet paper left, but I'm just saying, if it come down to it, I'm doodling on somebody's lawn. Huh? And I don't want to hear nothing about it. On your lawn, I'm letting you have it. They say we can still get out here and walk and do exercise. I'm going to exercise this dookie right on your lawn if I don't get no toilet paper out of the store today, okay? I'm tired of going to Sam's Club not seeing no toilet paper on the rack, huh? But, yo, everybody don't freak out. This is a critical time. But for those of you that are not freaking out, please do go the extra step. Not to freaking out, but like, you know, kind of just watch what you're doing. No, don't go out and be coughing on people. Wear a mask if you got it. Um, wash your hands a lot. You know what I'm saying? Do what you need to do. Things that we should already be doing, just period, in life. You know what I'm saying? Wash your hands a lot. Don't be touching people. Don't be breathing all on people. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, just go the extra mile to not pass on this virus that a lot of you think is not that serious, but it is serious enough to get us to this point where we in our house, YouTubing and videoing all of this way too much, okay? 
I done slept so much my back hurt. You understand what I'm saying to you? My back has never hurt this much. That's how much I've been sleeping this week. I've been in the bed kicking it hard for all week, and my back is paid for it. I, my all of this right up in here is hurting. I don't know why, because my head is like this. My back, doc, the lower back. The doctor say I need a backyotomy. It's pretty much what it boils down to. I need three backyotomies right now because I've been sleeping all week. Can we not get to this point again? I don't want to panic this much. This is not working for my back. I thought it was going to be good. It is not. I got to get up and walk around my house. I got to just stand a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm just in here just kicking it, just standing up for two hours out the, out the day. Let me just stand up because my back is killing me. It's too much. But for y'all that's getting it in, man, don't don't panic. Don't go all crazy buying up everything in the store. The stores is going to still rejuvenate. They still going to kick everything they need to kick back. Toilet paper, chicken, all of that is still going to be in the store. So you can, you can still have ways to feed your babies and all of that. So it's not time for us to nut up on each other and go crazy like in a movie scene or something. But... It is time for us to realize, yo, it's time to sit down, bro. It's time to sit down. It was already time to sit down a week ago when they told you they were shutting down the bars and this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like it's time to sit down. If you don't have to go out, like, don't go out kicking it with your people, drinking, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know, like, I miss my fam. I miss my fam to death right now, but not enough to go share a drink with them. I'm not coming over there. Just crack a bottle with you, cuz. I'm not doing it. I'm going to sit in my home and crack my own bottle. We can FaceTime that if you want to, but I'm not coming over to your house to crack a brew and risk my livelihood and my respiratory systems because you want to drink with me. I don't need to drink that bad, cuz. Huh? I drink pretty well alone. I know y'all say that's terrible, but it is what it is. I, you know, I was raised different. I don't need help to, you know, knock my shots back. And it just, they go down effortlessly, effortlessly, as you can see. But all I'm saying is, stop congregating if you don't have to congregate. Stop kicking it with people if you don't have to kick it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all already in the house together, then it's cool, so be it. But if you don't have to go link up with people. Don't do it, man. Like, just stay where you at. I know it's rough, but social distancing is real. Please keep your distance between people. Stay in your house if you can and go out for the essentials. That's what they're trying to tell you. They're trying to tell you this just as they were trying to tell you this a week ago with the bars and this, that, and the other. Like, we're trying to let you know it's real, but it's not crazy, but it's real. And we keep going out here like it ain't that real. Like, oh, we be good. Let me just go over here and kick it with cuz now. I'm going to go over here and do a shot with what's the name. It's not like that type of party. Don't do that, man. Like, just, just sit in the house and bare knuckle it down to the bare minimums for as long as they tell us to do it. And I promise you we will come out better on the other end. Part of the reason that we're in this situation is that our president did not think it was serious enough to do this in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? He the last one to show up to the party, but the first one to leave. You know, he already on TV talking about, uh, we, we ain't going to hold this over that long. You know what I'm saying? We, we got to get back to doing business. Yeah, we got to get back to doing it, but you ain't believe it was real in the beginning. Now you don't believe it's that real in the end. I'm just saying. Sometimes you got to sit still, let God work, do what need to be done, and then we can get back to business as usual. But, you know, I, I'm pretty much leaning towards doing what the folks say and kind of, you know, try to stay away from people, stay in your house, do what you need to do, man. Have a good time kicking it with yourself, get to know yourself again, you know what I'm saying? And just, and just let it, let it ride out this course and stay away from us and so so you're not passing it on to this one and that one and that one and this one you know that without 
knowing that you're passing it on because some people are not going to be able to survive getting this virus. The victims are getting younger and younger by the minute. You know what I'm saying? My man DJ Black and Mild, he was in his 40s. I want to say 42. That's too close to my age cause to be uh, slicing apples and oranges on. So that's all I'm saying. I'm as much uh, precedence to the brother. I, I wish you well as you go forth the Lord, but I'm not trying to join you. You underdig, I, and I don't wish that nobody else would try to join him as well. So I advise that you sit tight. But, uh, you know, I, they did say that the liquor stores would be open. I hope this is what they said, because I called the liquor store soon as I got this alert. Like, what's up? Y'all going to be open tomorrow? Because they said y'all were closed down. I don't know what's happening right now. What's happening? You going to be open? Don't just tell me you're going to be over. You ain't going to be over. Because I'm coming up there. I need everything on the top shelf. All right, well, the middle shelf. I ain't really no top shelf, but don't tell everybody. But look, I need everything you got for me because I, I can't be dry during this time. You understand what I'm saying to you? You going to be over? Man, don't lie to me. Tell me like that, dog. I'm telling you. I'm going to fight you. I know you. I'll be up there every other day. If you lying to me, dog, I don't want to. Okay, I don't want to have to fight you. All right. You know, so that's how my conversation went down with the liquor store purveyor. And he said they was going to be open. So I trust that they're going to be open because the governor know that essentials include liquor for Negroes like me. Liquor and weed. I ain't smoked in a long time, but if I have to, it might go down today. You know what I'm saying? If I can't get no liquor, and I might have to, I might have to breathe something in. You know what I'm saying? But that, the governor know that we got to get by this time that we going through to, to, to make it that the people can uh, operate with each other and coagulate and do the things that need to be done to uh, rub elbows and make babies happy for the, I don't know what I'm saying no more. But y'all understand what I'm saying. It's your boy P-Camp. Don't freak out. Stop buying all the toilet paper because I'm about to come slash your tires if you do. Uh, hit the button, man. Hit the button. You ain't got nothing else to do. Hit the button. You ain't got nothing else to do but hit this button. I'm going to slap. I'm telling you. Hit the button. P-Camp signing off.